What's up ladies and gents, welcome back. We've got another video for Alpha Protocol. Unfortunately, this is going to be another short one. Again, I apologize for these, but I want to separate these missions by specific mission numbers so that people that need help on a specific mission can easily find and reference that specific mission. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up here, of course, like we always do, and check out our computer and email. So, as you can see, we got some rapport points with her from our last email. The cheetah that runs the fastest has the best breeding stock of the pack. Uh, Alright, so we can archive that one. We've got a Grigori here. I was thinking I would sell them the drugs in half. So that's obviously the one that we did earlier too. So he thought that was, uh, that was funny. And last but not least, Albatross. To every uniform soldier you see. Uh, he's just pretty much, I guess, explaining how we handled the mission, how we went right up to the soldiers instead of sneaking in. Which still, um, going right up to the soldiers is a better outcome than sneaking in, so. Alrighty. Let's check out the clearing house. So we got 134. We have no intel for this mission. We don't have enough for the advanced stealth armor. Remember, we're still only in the second set of missions, so we're going to be able to get that, I'm sure, pretty soon. As far as handguns go... That seems like a pretty good top-of-the-line pistol. Everything is a plus on that one. Uh, but you can see that the here, you know, you have the damage is, is negative, but the accuracy... You've got plus three, plus eight, plus seven, plus eight, which is way better than those. So clearly, this is probably one of the best. This is probably the the best pistol. Um, the only thing I'm seeing here, ooh, we got a custom pistol grip compared to the composite. Lighter pistol barrel. Ooh, it gives us a plus two in accuracy. But it's part of the barrel slot, so I don't think we're going to be needing any of this right now anyways. The only thing I'm a little upset is I wish we could buy, I wish we could buy as a new silencer, it gives us a plus one. So it'll give us a zero, oh, it'll even itself out then, right? I mean, that is obviously a way better... Uh, silencer than the one that we have right now, but we'll wait until the next mission when we're actually going to be needing it. Um, yeah, but I'm just not seeing... Oh, we even got the Silencer MK3, which is even better. So, as you can see, there's all... Oh, oh sold out. I don't think we're ever going to get any of these in again. And it's 20,000. But we have 44 right now, so I think we're still pretty good to go. All right, so what we're going to do as we uh, get ourselves ready for this mission, we're going to go into our inventory here. And we're going to change to our winter clothing. Let's go with the stylized look and his beard's getting a little bit better as uh, a few days have passed as the beard keeps growing because he likes the way the beard looks. <laughs> See if there's any new information. Breaking news from Moscow this morning. Last night, the United States Embassy was the victim of a terrorist attack. According to eyewitnesses speaking exclusively to INN, the attackers were well armed and struck with military precision. Thus far, no group has stepped forward to take credit for the attack. Russian FSB spokesmen have not released many details of the incident, but have assured the press that they are cooperating closely with American agents on the scene. The death toll is believed to be somewhere near 50, although a final tally will not be possible until a full report is released later this month. 
Reports that Sergei Surikov, a Muscovite entrepreneur and reputed former leader of the Russian mob, was the actual target of the assault, remain unconfirmed at this time. However, sources have claimed Surkov was present at the embassy on the night of the attack. Mr. Surkov could not be reached for comment. Terrorism. Still a threat. Alright, so let's continue on. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to contact Surkov at his office. Um, you want this to go a certain way, so the, the dialogue choices that I show you are going to be the correct dialogue choices that you're going to want to make. For now, though, we're going to go and take a look at our individual. You can see the rep reputation stuff that we still have up here. Albatross, he's liked. We don't have him trusted just yet, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be trusted here in the next mission. Uh, he's neutral right now. We're going to get him up there a little bit more. All right. So with that being said, let's get into the mission. Contact Surkov at Moscow office. It's go time. Mr. Thornton, I'm glad you were able to make it. I have the information you requested. Glad to hear it, Mr. Surkov. Sergey, please. After the incident at the embassy, I'm glad we can talk under more relaxed circumstances. Without the armor. Yeah, wearing civilian clothes is starting to feel out of place the way things are going. Understood. Mr. Thornton. Michael. As I said, I was able to track down the information you requested. After reading your dossier, however. I had a proposal for you. So you found out what Halbeck is doing in Moscow? I did, but there's more to it than that. Michael, I'm going to be honest with you. Based on your record, I think you're someone that can be trusted. I have had dealings with Halbeck. In fact, I was their initial contact for smuggling weapons into Moscow, including these missiles you're looking for. Those missiles were used to bring down that airliner in the Middle East. People died. Yes, and I think we both know that's just the beginning. Halbeck and I did not see eye to eye on the terms of our arrangement. We had a falling out. Unfortunately, they've found a new partner here in Moscow, a Konstantin Breko. Breko? I don't think I've heard of him. If he's an arms dealer, I'm surprised he didn't show up on the radar when I arrived. He merely has delusions of becoming one, which makes him more dangerous. He's not a man to show restraint in business dealings few members of the Russian Mafia do. Can you give me details on Breko and his operation? He started out in prostitution and extortion, and now he's moved up to drug smuggling. What about weapon trafficking? The Halbeck angle sounds new. It is. If the angle is profitable, however, Breko is an eager student. Halbeck's arrangement with Breko is going to cause repercussions. I'm a reasonable man, but Breko is dangerous. He will sell to anyone, provided they have the money. Those missiles, along with the other Halbeck munitions, could end up in places where greater tragedies can occur. So what's your proposal? If I help you with Breko, I do not want my past involvement with Halbeck exposed. Working with him was a mistake, and I understand that. If the information you can provide helps stop Halbeck's plans, I'll do what I can to keep you out of it. Then I can ask for little else. I felt you would be open to such a deal, Michael. Then all I need is Breko's location. He is in a mansion outside Moscow. Decorated to his own particular tastes. I'm more interested in his defenses. That intelligence you may have to gain on your own or purchase from local contacts. Just download the location of my PDA and I'm set. Very well. I will have the information sent to you. And thank you again for saving my life, Michael. Whoa there, big guy. Didn't see you there. You've been there the whole time? My apologies. Champion Chick is here to see me, Mr. Thornton. If you are going after Breko, then I am in need of protection while you're away. Nothing better than a walking wall, I guess. That medal for real? Champion Chick won it in the Olympics. Boxing, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I want some too. In shooting and martial arts. Have fun, you two. All right, well, there you go. I, I love how sarcastic he is. Yeah, I want a couple too, you know, and... In, in, uh, 
and shooting and martial arts and his hand maneuvers when he's doing that. It's actually really fun. So we got exactly what we wanted out of him. We were able to get the most points possible uh, in our favor for this character. Uh, let's see if we ended up killing anybody. No, nope, won't let us look. <laughs> I know this was such a short mission. There is another cinema that's going to be playing after this, I believe. So with that being said, again, I apologize for the, the short video, but I do feel that it is necessary for me to make the videos the best way possible, and that is to make them clear and concise on what mission we're on and uh, easy for you all to find it out there when you're playing this game for years to come. So again, guys... Thank you so much for watching and hopefully you enjoyed. And of course, I will see you next time. Peace out, bitches. So you and Surkov met at the embassy during the attack. I could have timed it better had I known the VCI was planning to assault the place. But you survived. Even if many of the Marines stationed at the embassy did not. An unfortunate coincidence. Who knew those mercenaries would choose that moment to attack? The Marines were doing their job. They knew the risks. And they kill a lot of mercs, so it evens out. You're surprisingly laissez-faire about the business. There were higher stakes. If the VCI and U.S. Marines want to kill each other, let them. Not my business. You're quite the realist. I would have expected more patriotic rage. But you, you handled yourself exceptionally well. You must have had help. You're truly a skilled agent, Mr. Thornton. But one man against several highly trained squads? No. The odds aren't that good. Sometimes the best method is to send a man in alone. Good help is hard to find, and it usually slows me down anyway. Hmm. Something wrong? No. But remind me not to play poker with you. Well, if it hadn't been for that attack in Moscow, I doubt if anyone would have known you were in the city. You certainly kept a low profile. I'm not in broadcasting or marketing, so that shouldn't surprise you. I don't know. It seems you still make an impression on the fairer sex. No matter what the age difference is. What are you talking about? Z. In mercenary circles, she's something of an... old reliable. Is that why she's on your payroll? Ah, so you backtracked that, did you? Very good. But back to the reason you were at the embassy. Surkov. Yeah, I sort of expected more from ex-KGB when I met him. But maybe that's part of his charm. So you know about his past? Yep, him going legit, starting his corporation. Sorry, corporations. Trying to bring capitalism to Russia, the whole bit. I see. You didn't seem to have much trouble getting information out of Surkov. I imagine you two had a cordial talk while the bullets were flying. He cooperated. I think he appreciated the fact I acted like a professional. I don't know if he fully trusted me then, but... But he did tell you who had the Hellbeck missiles. And he gave you a name. Yes. Constantine Braco. Ah, Braco. What is it about the younger generation? At least Surkov was a businessman. They pretend to obey the law, but Constantine, now there's a story I'd like to hear. Up-and-coming Russian mobster meets rogue American agent. What could the two of you possibly talk about? How video killed the radio star.